Yo, what's up, Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's your no name back at it again with a different type of Giants video. I've seen a couple of um, YouTubers doing these quizzes and they look kind of fun. Full discretion. There's an ad going off right now. But I think I have desktop audio muted on this thing. So you guys will not be able to hear it. It is annoying though. Maybe I should get ad blocker. <laughs> anyway, um, I saw mike Too nice do a couple of these. He did one with uh, the 2013 starting quarterbacks. And I looked at that one. So because I looked at it, I'm not going to try and attempt it because I know the answers. And then I saw him upload a 2016 Giants roster I'm um, guessing quiz and I was like that's pretty cool I want to do it um so you know both for fun and because there's not really much news to report on right now so I thought you guys would like it so let's see how it goes if you guys do I'll probably do um other similar type of NFL quizzes and uh maybe Giants related maybe NFL wide you guys honestly just let me know down below and well let's let's get let's get started let's see how well I know the 2016 New York Giants and I want to say I know them pretty well because that was the year I started watching them, you know, as more than just a casual fan. So quarterback, obviously, I think is going to be Eli. Running back, I think, was Jennings. Okay, running back number two was Orleans Darkwa, I'm pretty no. sure. Ah, it wasn't Darkwa. Paul Perkins, I know he, um, that was the year we took him like in the fourth or something. It was not Perkins. I'm going to move on to wide receiver number one, and we'll get back to that. Uh, that's obviously going to be Odell. Uh, number two was Shepard, and three was Cruz. Yo, that, yo, if they could have stayed healthy, and if Cruz could have produced a little bit more, that could have been one of the best, I think, rotational... Um, Giants wide receiving corner history. I expected a lot of things from them in general. Uh, did not perform as well as I wanted them to, but it was still a pretty good year, you know. Defensively, at least it was a pretty good year. This had to be Donnell. No. Is it 1L? Is no. it 1N? Uh, who else was the tight end that year? Um, I know we had big slow dudes. That's all I can remember. So, Will Ty, yeah, it was Will Ty. That was the other dude. Obviously, um, the revolving door that was Eric Flowers at left tackle. Now this right here, this offensive line is about to be terrible, man. I don't know how they they went through the the year in 2016 with that offensive line and just Jesus. I don't know, man. Justin Pugh, I think, was left guard. Western Richburg and this is really about where my knowledge and my memory in the offensive line kind of ends right guard and right tackle I'm not sure I know we had Barbie Hart Barbie Bobby Hart at right tackle but I cannot for the life of me remember who the right guard was but even then the fact that I can't remember it just look at this offensive line absolutely terrible the only two good or average players on it were Western Richburg and Justin Pugh and it's actually more Richburg than Pugh because Pugh was almost always injured. But Jesus Christ, man. Terrible offensive line. Uh, Eli that year, I think, was... um, I think he... It was a weird stat. But he was, like, ranked number one in quickest time, you know, of getting rid of the football in the pocket. Like, he spent the least amount of time possible getting rid of the football because he knew he had to get it out as soon as possible. It was part of the reason there were so many Odell slants that year. And um, Odell that year, too, was honestly one of the best receivers in the league. Uh, let's see defensive end here. So we know we got Pierre Paul. Like his last good year with the Giants. Did I spell it wrong? Ah, <coughs> uh, this is Olivier Vernon. We traded 40 defensive end from Miami. He did good for us in 2016 and 2017. All right in 2018, but I don't blame him for that because he he was injured. So there's that. So that was one of the big signings. The next big signings had to be Snacks, Harrison. Um, I know we had Hankins, right? Okay, bet. Um, yo, when did we have Linval Joseph then? Was that 2014 or 2015? God, can you imagine Damon Harrison and Linval Joseph on the defensive tackle, defensive line? That would have been deadly for opposing teams. Jesus Christ, man. Um, here I know we got um Devon Kennard somewhere. 
I know he was at one of the uh, linebacker spots. I just don't know which one. So I'll, real quick, let me just check through all of these. So he's not there. I know for a fact he was on here at one of the linebacking spots. All right, bet. So he's one of those. And I know we had Jonathan Casillas. Casillas. Yep. All right, middle linebacker. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Both of these guys, didn't both of them go to the Lions or was it just Kennard? And uh, then the backup defensive end, Romeo Okwara, who still to this day, I wish we didn't let go of Romeo Okwara. He was really good for us as a rookie in 2016. I actually can't remember how he performed in 2017. Then again, he might not have seen the field that much. But Romeo Okwara was somebody we should have kept along with Kennard. Um, they were good at their positions, not great, but could have saved us some draft capital in my opinion, maybe even some money in free agency. Who knows? We If we kept Kennard, maybe we wouldn't have gotten Alec Ogletree. So there's that. At cornerback number one, the um, other big signing that year, of course, was Jack Rabbit. His best year with the Giants by far. I think his best year of his career. And then um, Eli Apple, also best year of his career, his rookie year. Slot cornerback was DRC. Um, well, I, I typed in last names a couple times. So this should work. I think if I just type in Crow Marty. No. How you spell it? Um, do I need to have the hyphen part? Rogers. Crow Marty. Hey, Alright, so I guess you need the hyphen part. Free safety. Completely honest with y'all, I don't remember, but obviously strong safety, who should have been defensive player of the year that year, Landon Collins. Um I don't know how. Landon Collins. It almost listen, Khalil Mack is a great defensive player, but Collins did so much more, man. And Jesus, that year he really was the best defensive player in the league like and it, it wasn't close especially what he did from a safety position you talk about tackle numbers you got a couple of sacks and of course interceptions ah oh, man that game against the rams i think it was a saturday game against the rams because it was played in uh in a, somewhere in britain you know when they do the games over in england and it was a saturday morning game i remember watching that out like sleepy eyed and then that play where he returned it bro it was like a 60 yard pick six jesus that woke you up right away um, our kicker, I think, was it, it was Josh something. Josh Brown. No. So I'm guessing they're not counting him because he got cut for domestic violence reasons. We also had um Robbie Gould, who's now with the 49ers. I, I, I think he's with the 49ers now. Hey, yeah. yeah, Robbie Gould. Punter was Brad Wing. I honestly don't know why we let go of Brad Wing. Was it something similar to, um, to, uh, Josh Brown, but Brad Wing was a good punter. I'm not complaining because we got Raleigh Dixon now. And here we had Dwayne Harris, who was one of the best kick and punt returners at the time in the NFL. A lot of people forget that. Long snapper is, of course, Zach D. Ooh, I don't know how to spell his name. Okay, bet. So, I got four of them that I don't know. Running back number two, I honestly thought would have been Orleans Darkwa. If it's not Darkwa at that point, then I'm guessing Darkwa was in 2017. And if there's a 2017 quiz, I want to do it too. That was probably one of our worst rosters of all time since we went 3-13. and 13. I'm going to get back to that. Right guard, it came to me as I was typing. I think this is John Sherry. Yep. Middle linebacker, I still don't know. And free safety. Who do we have at free safety? So these are the three ones that are stumping me. And I'm honestly not sure. I, it's it's got to be Darkwa. Who else is there? And yo, Darkwood is still out of a job. Damn. He's a, he's a good running back. Uh, who do we have at free safety? Man. I guess it really didn't even matter that much because the secondary that year, I mean, it was the NYPD secondary. They didn't really let through anything much. The Giants defense that year in general, I think they were the best in terms of points allowed. One of the best overall. Oh, Shane Vereen, right? We got him from New England. Uh, yep, but we got him from New England. He didn't really see the field that much because Jennings and Jennings was coming off an injury from 2015. I took, I think, also the running game just in general was trash. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. 2016 to like 2017 running game was terrible. And for these two, uh, I honestly don't know. Nothing's coming to mind, so I'm going to click give up and let's see what we have it was keenan robinson somebody i completely forgot was on the team and andrew adams okay <coughs> andrew adams that name sounds familiar 
but I don't really remember him. I'm not sure what his performance was like that year. Maybe he was good. Maybe he wasn't good. Who knows? But I mean, that's not bad. I got 26 out of 28. Um, I still, I forgot about Shane Vereen for a while there, but I really thought it was Orleans Darkwell over there. Uh, the tight end stumped me for a while, but I do remember we always had like big slow-ish tight ends for a while back there. Offensive line, what this quiz really told me is the offensive line was trash. Jesus Christ, the offensive line was trash. This was our best defense in years, although they did overperform a little bit. But when you got a defensive line like that, and you have a solid linebacking core, it's not a great linebacking core, but it's solid. We should have kept Kennard. You got good depth when you talk about Romeo Guara behind Jason Pierre-Paul. And a secondary that definitely performed up to expectations. It does spell things for defense. And of course, special teams were good. Um, obviously, it was unfortunate what happened with our kicker. And then we got the... It was a good replacement in Robbie Gold. It was nice, man. But this offensive line was trash. But uh, yeah, that's, that's the quiz for y'all. If you guys want me to do another one, um, let me know and which one you want me to do down below. Maybe it would be another uh, roster guessing one. But I expected... I mean, I honestly expected to do pretty well on this one because, like I said, this was the first year I started watching the Giants as more than just a casual fan. So that's it for now. Let me know what you think, and I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.